The Haley O Show. Every Friday, only on balls.co.za. Brad on the line. How's it going, Brad? Thanks, Ellie, and yourself. Good, good. How was your golfing weekend? Uh, it was uh, just wonderful, thank you. Uh, didn't uh, didn't do as well as I would like, but uh, isn't that uh, the story of anybody who pretends to play golf stream? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, glad to have you back on the show. And let's start with uh, About Time. I'm such a Rachel McAdams fan, so any movie she's in, I'm going to see. Yeah, well, that, that's what... Uh, that's what we're banking on. Uh, Rachel McAdams is she's the type of films that she's been in, uh, The Vow, Sherlock Holmes, to a lesser extent, Midnight in Paris. She's just been in so many films that uh, is becoming uh, every girl's uh, uh, go-to girl. And I think <laughs> from a, a romantic comedy point of view, she's kind of uh, really uh, um, Top of standing the game. out from the rest at this point in time. And this film is is lovely it's really for me this is my movie of the week a uh, 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 big fan of any film around time travel and th- th- this isn't time travel from a science fiction point of view it kind of adds to the romance and to the comedy of this film okay okay so so it's it's a good one for first dates definitely you know it's, it's great it's, it's got bill nye in it uh so he you know, for the best exotic Marigold Hotel, Love Actually, and films sure. like that. He's had a long career. And then the lead um, is uh, Donald Gleason. So he's, I suppose, better known for his role, uh, uh, not, obviously not the lead, but a, a smaller role in Harry Potter. Oh, that's where um, he's from. That's where, that's where he's from. And uh, essentially the story, uh, the trailer kind of picks uh, um tells you the story but basically the, the family so the father and the son they have this thing that when they turn 21 they, they can travel in time to any point back in their life mm-hmm. so uh, from, from a geeky guy he decides to use this to try and uh, try and get a girlfriend and make his life great and that kind of travels through the story uh, as you travel through their relationship and, and how he how he actually actually lands her um, in, into the rest of their life and it's, it's got some like really gripping moments some sad moments, some happy moments, and uh, some really funny moments. I, I thought it was actually a really quirky uh, romantic comedy, and uh, I enjoyed it a lot. Oh, and normally I don't enjoy Rachel McAdams' films, so this is quite what? something for me. No, Brad, and I don't I'm think we can you. speak any longer. No, <laughs> no. But this, but this one's a goodie. So uh, I, as, as a fan, you definitely need to watch this one uh, <laughs> this weekend. Okay, so that's about time. So many good movies on at the moment. And then now the latest street dance film to hit the circuit, Battle of the Year. Yeah, so Battle of the Year, it's it's very much in line with the step-up films that have, uh, there's been, I think, about four of them so far. Um, these kind of street hip-hop dance films are actually quite popular, believe it or not. Um, this one has some... some, some uh, uh, strength in the actors, uh, which I, so I think it'll do well. Josh Holloway kind of plays the lead, and uh, he's best known for for uh, Lost, the TV series Lost. Yeah, um, that's great. So, I, love so I think there'll be some interest from his point of view, and it's got Chris Brown in it. So love him or hate him, uh, <laughs> he'll also attract a certain uh, type of person to this film. Sure. Um, I've got a very interesting fact, uh, mm-hmm. and uh, trying not to give too much away about the film, but. There is a, at some stage in the film, they, they, they needed to go to France to um, uh, for a dance competition, and uh, they had to write Chris Brown out of the scene because of all the problems he was having with the law. Uh, France wouldn't give him a visa to come uh, to come, Are you to come so they had to change the story. So how funny is that? Chris Brown can't get a French visa. <laughs> it's not yeah. just the rest of us that struggle. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that it's just is for, for different reasons. But, uh, <laughs> but, that, that's why that's why you don't see him in that scene. Uh, if you choose to go and watch that film, you'll you'll notice that and you'll know why. <laughs> that is a nice little fact. But I mean, the choreography in these films. I mean, they get the top people from you know around the world to do the choreography. And I think if you do appreciate any kind of dance, I mean, you know, there's always something to see in these films. Definitely. And as far as the, this genre of films goes, this is a really good one with some good. Uh, some good leads, so uh, definitely uh, worth your while if, if this is your cup of tea. Cool, cool. So that's Battle of the Year. And our movie qu- question for the day? Sure. Uh, so it's uh, back to about time and back, back to your friend, Rachel McAdams. <laughs> so, I'll know uh, this one, definitely. You should know this one. So obviously this is a time travel film. And uh, interestingly enough, Rachel McAdams, this is her third role in time 
travel movies. Uh, this the about time is one with again with Owen Wilson in Midnight in Paris was the other. I'm looking for the third one, the 2009 film with uh, where she co-starred with Eric Banner. What is the name of that film um, where she was also involved in time travel? Ah, uh, I know it. It's based on a book, isn't uh, it? Uh, perhaps. I don't know. I don't read. I watch movies. Really. <laughs> uh, most of, more of us should admit that. <laughs> Definitely. And but, just, uh, I, I think we've, we've kind of painted two films which uh, have quite a niche, a rom-com audience and a, and a dance fan audience. Just so you know, we won't talk much about them, but another two great films releasing uh, today, yeah. Kumba, it's an animated film for the kids, and for the fanboys, Riddick with uh, Vin Diesel also comes out today. So Riddick. quite a lot of films for the weekend, yeah. And Kumba's the South African animated film. Is that right? Fine, yeah. Okay, I'm quite so, curious so, to see so, with Liam and, Neeson. Uh, and, and essentially, it's the only real film that, that's coming out now. I mean, uh, just, Smurfs is still on, and that'll probably run for a while. But uh, I know people are always looking to take their kids to see a film, and uh, that certainly is a good one and proudly South African. Brilliant. Okay, great. Thanks, Brad. What plans for the weekend? Sharks or province? Uh, just Curry Cup final time. Eh? That's uh, <laughs> that's what going to be uh, the lead up to it and the lead down to it. So, uh, we'll, <laughs> Who are you supporting? We'll see, uh, have, well, Province is, is my second side after the Lions. See, my I was actually mm. born in Cape Town, so uh, I'm going to be supporting the home guys and uh, seeing hopefully the, te- the team that, that kicked the Lions out wins it. You're a Province fan and you don't like Rachel McAdams. We've got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, dear. That's the last time we speak. Well, it's been great. <laughs> well, enjoy it, Brad. Have a good weekend, and maybe we'll chat next week. <laughs> maybe. Have a, have a good one, Haley. Bye. Okay, cheers. Bye. That's Brad Knowles. Uh, turn his mic off there. Brad Knowles, manager of Stir Kinnacore Theatres. So, um, time travel movie and a dance film out on your movie screen. The Haley O Show. Every Friday, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Only on balls.co.za.